Hey everyone, thanks for joining and play games. My name is Lance, and today I'm looking at a brand new game on Kickstarter called Tiny Ninja Heroes. This is a new game by Tuniverse. It is a one to two player game that takes roughly 20 to 40 minutes to play, and is a competitive head to head game where each player is, has a team of ninja that are trying to defeat their opponent's hero, and the player that does this first will be the winner of the game. In this video, I'm going to be playing through the head to head mode, showing you the first, middle, and end couple turns to show you how the game plays and progresses to help you decide if this is one that you'd like to back on Kickstarter. As always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button, subscribe to my channel, as it really does make a big difference. It helps me to continue to grow and produce these videos. So let's head to the table, and I'll show you what this one's all about. All right, so I'm all set up. I have my two guys already deployed, all of their ninjas, and we've chosen our spots for our initial shield. The blue player will be the starting player or the attacker, and then the red player is the defender for this particular round, and so he would get an energy for that. So the very first step is to gain an energy, and my player will also gain an item from the item deck. Now because of his hero, that particular hero has Picky Eater, which allows him to pick two items and choose one of them to keep. So I can either gain another energy, or I can gain a shield. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shield, as that is a good option, and I'll add that to my area. Now normally you'd keep this kind of information hidden, but for this video I'm going to show you what each player has. From there then I'm going to move into my movement step where I get three movement points to use. And with that I am going to... I will move the panda one space over. Uh, I'm going to go diagonal, so that'll be two movement points, and I will move my master up one. At that point, then I'm on to my actions, so I can use the different things for actions. So I'm going to go ahead and spend that shield right away and place a new shield out. So I'm going to take that and place it in the middle section. That is one action. I can also choose to buy a shield if I had two energy, or I could discard two items to gain an energy. Or I can use any star ability, such as my solo's blink, which I am going to do. I'm going to go ahead and blink, flipping the positions of these two. And then I am going to go ahead and attack. So I'm going to go ahead and use the baby's first ability, which does not cost any energy, the yo-yo. And it has an unlimited range, and it's going to target one enemy in that direction of my choice. So I'm going to go ahead and target solo over there. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a roll and see what I get if I can do one or more damage. I do one damage to solo, so my other, the opponent, has a chance to defend that. So right now there is no shield there, so he cannot stop that. But if he could use either the turtle's ability or he could use panda's ability. Now, Turtle does have a special ability as well, which is Gotcha. So if Panda is in a space adjacent to Turtle, then the Panda can use his Bear Hug for free. He is not currently in a space adjacent, so he won't be able to do that. But he is going to spend that one energy to save Solo and take one damage himself using his Bear Hug ability. At that point, then my player's turn is over and the roles will switch. So now the red player becomes the attacker and the blue player is the defender. So again, we'll gain an energy, and he will get an item. So he has Smoke Bomb. This allows him to move an ally shield or an enemy shield into a different lane. From there, then I get my movement points as normal. So with that, I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and move the master up two spaces. And actually, I'm just going to move him up one. I'm going to keep him there. From there, I'm going to... I don't really have anything else that I necessarily want to do at the moment. I am going to flip positions. I'll go ahead and do that. And trade positions like that. Or actually, let's go ahead and do this instead. We'll keep Turtle back there. I'll move him and trade that. That way I take advantage of the Turtle's ability with Panda and I get Solo out in front. All right, then I will do an attack. So I have a couple choices. I can do an attack with the Archer trying to hit the master there and she does have a decent ability to do some some good damage or I could go with the master's blade on that so I'm gonna go ahead and do the archer on the master now he does have a shield so he could choose to use that if he wants to so let's see what I get it is a green so just one damage the master is gonna take that and just takes one wound 
Again, we'll move back into the blue player, so energy and two cards. So again, either energy or movement. I'm going to go ahead and take the energy this time and add that to my area. Then I gain my movement points. So with that, I will move my master up one, and I'm going to move solo up two. Then I will go ahead and do, I don't really, I don't really have an action that I want to do per se. So I'm going to go ahead and attack with solo against the master. So with that, solo is going to attack. It is black, so he's going to do two damage to the master, and there is no way to block that, so the master is going to take two. From here, then the uh, red player is going to go, again, gaining an energy and a card. So with that, he is going to... First for movement, so let's see... He's going to go ahead and he's going to stay here and he's going to go ahead and spend the bomb to move an enemy shield. So I'm going to move it down here and then I will attack solo with my master. So the master does just one damage to solo and solo doesn't have an ability to stop it and there's no more shield protecting him so he has been defeated. Okay, back to the blue player's turn. He's going to go ahead and gain an energy, and then he gets to get those two items. So he gets a shield. From there, then I get my movement points. So I'm going to move my master up here, and I'll go ahead and move the panda up as well. From there, then it is on to my actions. So I will spend the shield to add another shield to that section there and I will go ahead and gain that energy as well as my second action from there then my attack so I'm gonna go ahead and use my master's special ability tornado and this is gonna require three points some back down to one and with this one it is going to attack all enemies in all eight directions for one damage each so with this the master is going to hit each one one time. So with the archer, she will take it. The panda is going to take it as well, and he will use his ability, because he's adjacent to the turtle, to take the damage for solo as well. So he will be down to two damage at this point. Then it is back over to the red player to gain an energy, and we'll also gain another smoke bomb all right and then he is going to do his movements so move one two three he's going to go ahead and spends the bomb again to move this and then he will attack the baby with that and might as well spend the shard as well to gain another energy He's not going to do the tornado. He's just going to do a basic blade attack. Ah, just one damage. And Baby it cannot stop it, so that brings Baby down to two. Back over to blue to gain an energy and two items, another shield, and kunai. So I'll gain that instead this time. All right. Uh, actions... Master's going to go one, two, three, and then he will attack Turtle just with his blade attack. Ooh, he rolled big, so that's two damage on Turtle, so he is going to spend his shield to try to block. If he rolls a black, it's two damage. White is one, so he does block all the damage. But red is out of shields now. All right, back over to the red player, gaining an energy. And a card, so another energy if needed. So from there, then let's go ahead and do another move. We'll move here. And then I'm going to spend three to do that tornado attack with their master. So again, it's going to do one damage each. Baby cannot block it as he doesn't have anything. The Archer can choose to use the shield. She is not going to. She'll just take one damage. 
All right, back over to blue. Blue is going to gain that. And an item. So we have power scroll, two power scrolls. So he will gain a power scroll. He's going to spend a movement to move up there. And the master is going to go ahead and drop back two. From there, I'm going to spend two and do her bullseye shot onto their master for two damage. And there's nothing that can stop that as they don't have any shields and he's too far away, so their master has been eliminated. All right, back over to red, gaining an energy and an item. It's a Shrieken, and it can destroy an enemy shield, so that's going to be powerful. All right, so at this point, let's see what we want to do. I'm going to move solo, one, two, and I'll target the master. I am also going to spend one to destroy that shield underneath his location. Oop. And then I'll go ahead and attack with Solo. We're looking for black, hopefully. Yes, so two damage onto the Master, and he cannot stop it. All right, that is the end of red. So back over to blue. Blue's going to gain an energy and two items to choose from. He'll go ahead and gain another energy item. He is going to... gain that energy well first i gotta do movement so let's handle that first so i'm gonna go ahead and move one two three and then i will pop that energy as well and then i'm gonna do that tornado attack again and do one damage to all three around so at this point then we have to, the red player has to decide what he is going to do so first off for solo the panda is going to take the hit for that one and with the turtle we can spend two energy to defend a number of damage to the turtle or an ally in a space adjacent to the turtle so we'll go ahead and do that and stop the one that's going to hit the archer and panda has been eliminated as he also had to take a hit all right then it is back over to red to go so red gets that energy and a card it's a power scroll, and with that, I'm going to spend the, I've got to do movement first, so, I will move the archer back one, and I will move solo back one, then I'm going to spend that to gain another energy. And I'm just going to go ahead and attack with Solo right away. No matter what I roll, it's going to be a hit. And there is no shield back there, so the Master has been eliminated. All right, so then it is back over to Blue, gaining an energy. Two cards to choose from. I'll take another one of these. And what do I want to do here? So Baby is going to do his attack as I don't want to do any actions at this point. I think I'm pretty solid where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and do an attack. He has a full range, and I'll target that archer. And currently, you could, the turtle could spend two to, to block that. Ooh, it's a hard choice for the turtle player. Do we blow all of our energy again to protect the archer? I think so. So it's just one damage from... Well, let's see what happens. Baby has to roll first. It is just the one damage, so the archer is good. I don't need to roll, otherwise I would have had to roll, but I stop all the damage. So that is it for blue. Back over to red to go, gaining an energy and a card. Another Shrieken. And with that, the solo is going to move up. Turtle will move up as well, and will attack. So solo does one damage to Panda. Panda will take that damage. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and spend that. Well, we already did the attack. So back over to blue. Blue is going to gain that. And two cards. He will gain the energy. 
And then movements for blue. We will move one, two, and three. I'm also going to spend a potion to heal my archer by one. And I will spend that to gain an energy. And I think that's good there. Then she is going to attack. She'll attack the turtle. And let's see what she gets. It is just one damage, and he has to take it. So he's down to five. All right, back over to red to go. So gaining another energy. Gains a bomb. Solo's going to move up, and he will attack. Just one damage. She will take it. Then it is back over to blue, gaining an energy and two cards, which I'm going to go ahead and gain the energy card. Then it's on to movement. And baby's going to move two, and Pando move one. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and spend this to gain the last energy for that. And I'm going to go ahead and spend two of that to attack the turtle player. It is a dam uh, shot that does two damage, so he is down to three at this point. All right, back over to red to gain an energy and a card. I will also gain... Well, I have to do movement first, so... Hmm. Let's go ahead and do... Move the archer up one. Let's just move her over one. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and spend the energy to gain another one. And then I'll go ahead and do her bullseye shot on top of spending the power scroll. So that'll bump her damage up to three on the panda. The player is going to blow that shield to try to protect that. And we'll see what kind of damage he protects. He stops two damage, so just one on to panda. But it did force the blue player to spend that shield. All right, back over to blue at this point to gain an energy, two cards. He'll gain the movement. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and spend the two again to take another bullseye shot on the turtle. Down to one hit point. Back over to red player, gaining an energy and a token. So movement first. He is going to... He'll move over one. And move solo up one. Then I'm going to do my action. So I'm going to go ahead and spend that to gain a shield. And I'm going to go ahead and spend both of these to give myself two hit points back. Then my attack. So solo will attack baby. And he gets two damage. So baby just goes down to his secondary form. Okay, so at this point, then it is back over to blue to gain another energy and a card. So we've got another movement and another movement, so gaining another movement card. Move up one, two, three. And spend these two here to gain an energy. And he'll do the same with this one to gain an energy. And at that point, then he's going to spend three energy to do his diaper blast attack, which deals three damage in one direction up to two spaces away. And he's also going to spend two energy to use the power scroll to add an extra damage to that. So he's going to do four damage to the turtle. The turtle player has to use the shield to stay alive. Stops two damage of it, so he is down to one hit point remaining. Back over to the red player, he's going to gain an energy, and he gets the movement. With that, he is going to move up. He'll spend two energy. Actually, I'm going to move down and over. I'm going to spend two to gain a shield. 
and I'm going to use my movement to move Solo over here. And then I'm going to attack Solo onto Baby. Two damage to Baby. Baby's got one hit point left. Over to Blue Player. They're going to gain some cards. I'm going to go ahead and gain the shield. Then for my movement, I will... Let's see... I will move up two and over one. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion to give myself one hit point back. And I will drop that shield as well onto this location here. All right, and then attacking, I will do an attack onto the turtle player from Panda, I have to spend the energy to prevent that damage from going through. Then it is over to red, I'll gain that energy and a card. So I'm going to get another shield, that's really good. And Solo is going to keep putting pressure on the opponent's hero. I'm also going to move over. Let's move there. And from there then I will also use the shield ability to drop a shield, put it back there again. And I'm gonna go ahead and spend a bomb to move this one off. And I will attack there with Solo. It is a black, so that's two damage and the baby goes down. <laughs> and so that is the game. It looked like Red was in big trouble getting pounded, but they were able to hold off and with a couple of critical moments there, moving able to move your enemy's shield around and that was huge. So I hope that helped you guys decide whether or not you want to back this one on Kickstarter. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you like these videos, if you enjoy what I do, please consider hitting that like button, subscribe to my channel, as it really does help me to continue to grow and be able to produce these videos and bring new videos to you guys. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.